Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So Seventeen are back and I completely forgot that the music video dropped at like 6 a.m. for me. Um, yeah, because if I remember correctly, I I mean I read that it's the first time that they do this. Like they usually put out the music video in the album at like, what is it, 6 p.m.? The Korean standard time, but this time they did it earlier, isn't it? Yeah, I completely forgot about that. But anyways, here I am, better late than never. So I checked the, you know, teaser pictures, obviously, and I did purchase the three versions just based on the pictures. And like, I'm not necessarily proud of it. I, I, <laughs> I try to sometimes, you know, put a break on my spendings and everything because, well, because like K-pop merch for like uh, fans that are abroad. It's freaking expensive. So I always try to tell myself to at least wait until the album at least out to see whether I will be enjoying the songs on the album or not to then purchase an album. But I guess I made an exception for 17. <laughs> so yeah, needless to say that the teaser pictures really appealed to me, but at least I know that I'm not the only one. So <laughs> it makes me feel better. Anyways, so I also checked the, you know, album medley and everything, the teaser videos for this. I think I'm going to be enjoying this music video so much more than Ready to Love. Ready to Love, I've had beef, I guess. <laughs> it's a strong word for what it was, but like, I wasn't really feeling the music video, especially that part when they were rained on and we couldn't see anything but like this time around from the teaser videos and everything i feel like i'm going to be enjoying this a lot more so uh i have the english captions on rock with you let's go i'm a whore for piercings okay Oh, I like the editing already. <laughs> Is that a big creaking sound? <laughs> So good. Oh. His voice makes me feel things. Like. <laughs> Every piece of my body is moving right now. It is a, it is a big creaking sound. That tongue, though. Wow. Oh. It sounds somehow sad, right? Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This somehow... Mm, how do I explain this? It is explosive and 
fiery in a way, but it holds so much oh, romanticism. Is that a thing even? Is that a word? It's like, you know, when you love something or someone so, so, so much that you have this fiery passion for that or for the, that person or that something, but also it's like a very endearing love and a very soft one and a very uh, warm love. Does that make sense? Does that make any sense? I mean, I don't know if sad was the right word, but it felt, I mean, the melody felt melancholic. Again, I feel like I, this is something that I say often about them, weirdly enough, because the concept in itself isn't necessarily like sad or anything, but their voices carries the song in such a soft way, even when the melody or the beat or whatever seems more powerful. Like this whole thing, Make like creates a picture in my head of like, um, what is it? A tough guy, you know, or someone in general, a tough someone who seems very intimidating to others and everything, but he's a like softy or like they're a softy inside. Do you know what I mean? So, this is what the song gives me a little bit. It gives me a feeling of seeming very tough, but inside and underneath it's like incredibly soft and romantic and warm do you know what i do you know, oh my god i don't know if i'm just like completely making this up right now but like that's how i received it and i really really liked it i mean i'm not surprised that i liked it really but <laughs> one part when he's like with his wet hair with a you know uh bike cask is that a cask how do you say that I don't even know how you say that, but whatever. He looked like he just came out straight out of a drama. You know what I mean. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I love how they're all portraying a different type of boyfriend. Wait, sorry. I just noticed the dance at around 40 seconds. Are they lifting the eight up? Is he levitating? Levitating? What the heck? happened there? I mean, whatever that was, that was freaking cool. I absolutely adored their voice in this song. Not that before they weren't good or whatever, it's just that, like I said, there's something quite like tough and emotional about this song in one. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I like this feeling. For real though, they are giving me boyfriend energy in this music video. Like how each of them have different, you know, characters and everything. I also love how they are somehow connected with the whole, you know, Cosmo type of thing. The sign under the stars, the telescope and everything. And also when they are dancing at the end, the lights make it seems like they are in a concert, you know, with the light sticks and everything. Oh, I miss it. Yesterday night with my sister, we were looking at footage from, you know, concerts that we've been to and both of us were like so down and watching that made us feel better. But at the same time, it was like, we miss it. We miss this feeling, you know. Anyways, I'm gonna, I mean, uh, yeah, I think, uh, did I say this? Yes, I think I did. I really like that song. I, like I expected, I really, really like this music video a lot more than Ready to Love. I love how dynamic it is. I like, I like the boyfriend energy that I'm not gonna like. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.